I was talking about um, flexible uh, dosing of uh, bortezomib in uh, patients with multiple myeloma. And more precisely, I was uh, addressing the issue of once weekly dosing and also the uh, possibility of giving the drug subcutaneously instead of intravenously. The implications are quite important because uh, currently we um, are at the stage that we do know that these drugs like bortezomib they have a serious impact, a very positive impact on response rates, on time to progression and even overall survival. But we also know that um, this drug can also have some toxicities and particularly uh, when uh, the use is prolonged and in vulnerable patients like very elderly patients, patients with pre-existing peripheral neuropathy. So in that regard, um, there is clear evidence that once weekly dosing of bortezomib and subcutaneous administration, whilst maintaining efficacy, can also reduce the toxicity, more precisely the neurotoxicity. In terms of weekly dosing, it has uh, been extensively tested in phase 3 studies in frontline uh, treatment for elderly patients. At this moment, we can assume that this will also be beneficial for uh, other patient categories, but the best way to approach this is by doing this in a, a prospective randomized trial. Um, in terms of subcutaneous administration, this is quite new because the phase 3 study proving similar efficacy and um, better tolerability has just been published now, so uh, we expect this, that this uh, new way of administration will be implemented pretty soon in, in, in several centres. There is definitely a message for patients because we want to maintain uh, the balance between efficacy and tolerability. So we want to have the maximum efficacy in terms of anti-myeloma uh, efficacy and uh, we do not want to do this at the expense of serious toxicity and especially not at the expense of uh, long-lasting or even irreversible toxicity. So the major message for patients in there is that we can indeed try to further improve their quality of life whilst maintaining optimal therapeutic efficacy with bortezomib. For the uh, once weekly dosing, um, when we compare this amongst trials, we see that the efficacy was not different when we give Falcate, Melphal and Prednisone, the so-called VMP regimen, once weekly. For the subcutaneous administration, this has been carefully addressed in patients with relapsed uh, myeloma and there was also no difference in terms of efficacy. In the first line treatment, these were studies, large studies. One was, was conducted in Spain, the other one was conducted in Italy in several centers. And for the subcutaneous administration, um, these studies were conducted in 50 centers in 10 countries um, in Europe, in Asia, in South America. So it is highly uh, representative for the global myeloma population. This collaboration is becoming further strengthened because what we want is to um, have the best results in the shortest period of time in order to have the maximum benefit for the patients.